Hey guys, what is up? Back with another video. Today we have not one sneaker review, but two sneaker reviews, or boot reviews, I should say, in the exact same video. So that is pretty awesome. If you guys enjoy seeing two sneaker reviews in one video in one day, make sure to hit that like button. Also, if you feel like it, follow me on Instagram, Twitter, and Snapchat. I hope everyone is having a good day today, but they are two pairs of Nike Field Boots that we're going to be taking a look at. These are, I want to say, they used to be standard issue for the US military. They might actually still be standard issue for the US military, but either way, at one point in time, these were standard issue for the US military and that is pretty cool. They were recently on clearance at Nike.com back in November. Uh, these ones right here that we're going to be taking a look at first, I got for around $73, which is a very, very good price if you ask me. So taking a look at these shoes, it's an all olive six inch high boot. So this is going to be the exact same height as your Timberlands, maybe half an inch shorter than your Kobe 9 or Kobe 10 Elite highs, just to give you guys a general understanding of how tall this boot is. It's not super crazy high, basically the exact same height as a Timberland. It's extremely lightweight for a boot that's not something you expect. Like this weighs pretty much the same as like a LeBron 12 or a LeBron on 10. It's very lightweight, which is not something you expect from a boot. It features suede across the toe box right here and a ripstop canvas along the side of your foot and the tongue as well. Of course, it has your D-ring eyelets on the side where the laces go in and of course your Nike uh, running outsole. It's, it honestly looks like a Nike free outsole almost. Uh, it's a more of a trainer, I guess, uh, more of a training outsole you would see on a Nike trainer shoe, except it's definitely more of an athletic footwear type outsole for this boot, which is really cool. Of course, you have your big traction spikes in the back, some spikes on the midfoot, and then once again, some Air Max 90-esque spikes on the front of the shoe. So that is really cool. It gives it more of a bit of a sneaker vibe. Lots of people think these look like uh, boots that Kanye wore. I don't even know if he wore the exact same ones or not. I don't keep up with what Kanye wears all that much. I bought these because I think they looked cool, not because anyone wore them or anyone didn't wear them. I just bought them because I think they look cool and they were for a good price. So this is the olive pair right here. It's six inches high. Got them for around 70, 72, 73 dollars, somewhere around there. Let's take a look at the tan pair. This one right here is two inches higher. It's an eight inch high boot. So it's definitely getting a bit up there. You know, you, look, you take a look at the height difference here. I'll put them heel to heel. You know, this might even be a nine inch boot, taking a look at it now. Like this is a pretty high looking boot. It's definitely a lot taller than this one and it creates a much different look. In the unboxing video of these, if you guys haven't seen that, there's a button in the top right hand corner of the screen if you guys would like to go look at that. But I said that I preferred the olive ones instead of these uh, tan ones and I completely changed my mind after wearing these a couple times. I was wearing these around, you know, they look really good in my opinion. Tons of people liked them. Tons of people thought they were the Yeezys for whatever reason. Like the first day I wore these, no lie, I started keeping track because like so many people were asking me, 33 people asked me, 33 people asked me if these were the Yeezys. 33. Like that, that's insane. 33 people thought these were the Yeezys. I don't even understand why. They look nothing like the 750s. They look nothing like the 950s. They certainly look nothing like the 350s. So who knows why people thought these were the Yeezys. But this featured the same materials. You know, the suede on the toe box and the heel, the ripstop canvas on the midfoot and on the tongue. It has the same D-ring eyelets for the laces. And this is all in this British khaki colorway, is what they call this one. Uh, there is also on Nike's website, there's like a coyote one that they call it, there's an olive eight inch, there's a black eight inch, and there's a more of a chocolate brown eight inch as well. So there's some pretty cool color options. Some of them I will definitely be looking to pick up if and when they do go on sale on Nike.com because $150 is a little bit much for these. But this colorway right here, I got for $68. So an even better price than this one, which is pretty sweet in my opinion. The outsole on this is a bit more of a Nike free outsole. You definitely have the uh, flex grooves that you would have on a Nike free shoe. You have the traction spikes once again on the heel with the Air Max 90-esque pillars on the forefoot once again. This is a really great sneaker in my opinion though. Like it's not really a sneaker, it's a boot, but it's a really great shoe in my opinion. I've worn these three times already, I think maybe twice but I've worn these a decent amount of times and I've worn them like all day one day which was pretty sweet because these things are really comfortable once again just as a, just as lightweight as this one. In fact, these might be a little bit more lightweight now that I'm holding them, just because this midsole is a bit lighter, it's a bit more flexible, and it features more foam and less rubber. This one is basically entire rubber, or entirely rubber on the outsole and midsole, while this one is foam on the midsole and just features strategically placed rubber traction pads on the bottom. So this one is definitely lighter now that I hold them up, which is pretty impressive. For an eight inch boot, this is about the weight that you would expect from a Kobe 9 or, or thereabouts, like I haven't weighed them on a scale, 
scale, but I'd say pretty much the same weight as a Kobe 9, which is pretty light for a boot like this. This is going to be getting a lot of wear. Both of these pairs are for me in Winnipeg during the winter and during the spring, just because, you know, it's terrible weather. There's so much snow and it's really cold outside. So these are a great option for any cold climate if you guys want to wear something that's a little bit more stylish than your typical winter boots. But that is going to wrap up this review of both the 8 inch and the 6 inch uh, Nike special field boots. One thing I always want to say as soon as I see these boots, I just want to say war ready like DJ Khaled. That's the first thing that pops in my head is DJ Khaled saying war ready. I don't know why. It's the first thing that pops in my head every single time I see these because they are military issued combat boots. But besides that guys, let me know what you think of these down in the comment section below. I'll be hitting you with the on foot look right now. So if you haven't already, please hit that like button and until next time, peace.